It's going to take some time to work through all the changes we need to make, but I'm committed to getting this right. Mark Zuckerberg has promised to fix Facebook before, but data privacy advocate Shane Green says the latest one, to make the platform more private and secure, doesn't inspire much confidence. Mark Zuckerberg has, you know, spent the last 10 years figuring out how much he can get away with uh, violating our privacy. So this is not somebody who has credibility on this subject. And in fact, the bigger problem is that his entire business model is based on owning and controlling and exploiting our data. Facebook has been under increased pressure over how it gathers and sells users' information. Green says Zuckerberg was vague about how they'll make money going forward, but he expects things won't change. They don't plan on changing their monetization model. It's very much going to be uh, at, about you know, owning and controlling data as it relates to the core Facebook service. Zuckerberg says they're focusing on private messaging because that's what people want. But critics suspect it's also about fending off government regulators worried that Facebook controls too much. While Europe has brought in stricter rules, this professor says lawmakers in the U.S. shouldn't let Facebook try and solve its own problems. I just don't think uh Facebook is, uh, is particularly altruistic. At the end of the day, they have an obligation to shareholders, uh, and they're thinking about that. There's another concern for Facebook, too, the number of people logging off for good. A recent study estimates it's lost 15 million users in the U.S. in the last two years. A lot of young people used to use Facebook. Uh, that's changed, um, and I think it's going to continue to change. Both experts agree the key for Facebook to recover is being transparent and earning back users' trust, something they say will take more than just the promise of more privacy. Stephen D'Souza, CBC News, New York.